Hey, it's Luke Lonian, and you're listening to 103.1 KFIL's Coach's Corner On Demand. And welcome back to Coach's Corner. With us now, the head coach of the Chatfield Gophers, it's Jeff Johnson. Coach, how's it going today? Yeah, uh, great morning so far. Perfect. Glad you could take the time to chat with us here today, Coach. You pick up a win over St. Charles yesterday, 69-0. to uh, Take us to the game overall, Coach. Obviously, the team played pretty well. Yeah, we did. Um, last night, uh, all we were clicking on all cylinders. Um, we briefly talked to the team after the game, and um, just I think they're realizing what team we can be if we uh, play well in all three aspects of the game, uh, and that's what we talked about. Um, there were some things that we wanted to clean up after week two uh, and week one, um, mainly with our special teams, um, we gave up a, a kick return for a touchdown week two to uh, Doriota, and we also gave up another touchdown on a kick return to Doriota, uh, but it was called back on a penalty. But either way, we didn't have great coverage on either one of them. Um, we focused a little bit more on our special teams this week, um, our extra point kicking, um, our kickoff team, um, our punt team, our punt return, and those things really play dividend this uh Friday night against St. Charles. Um, our special teams was outstanding. Uh, we kicked off well. Uh, we, we had great coverage on our kickoff team. Our extra points were um, very well protected and kicked, and um, um, uh, both in the running game and the passing game. So uh, we were extremely well, well, um, well rounded last night. And um, it ended up showing on the scoreboard as well. We scored very fast in the first half, a um, couple touchdowns in the first quarter, um, and then to follow up with uh, three touchdowns in the second quarter. So we jumped out fast, and uh, there's a lot of excitement on our sidelines. Um, it fired up our second group, and um, our second group ended up going in in the second half and, and doing the same thing too. Um, they played with a lot of emotion and uh, blocked well, ran hard, um, threw the ball um, right on the money when we needed to. And um, it was just a great team effort last night. Defensively, um, our starting group really flew to the ball and, and, and did their job. Um, they've really bought into the, to the fact that if everybody plays their assignment, uh, they can have an extremely tough defense last night. Um, that was something else that we wanted to focus on a little bit in between uh, week two and week three. Uh, we left some some big gaps and some big holes um, that Doriota was able to run through in week two. And uh, last night we tightened up the screws a little bit and uh, we played much better defense. So, um, like I said, all in all, great team effort. And um, we re- really put a c- complete game together. Jeff Johnson with us, the head coach of the Chatfield Gophers. Uh, coach St. Charles, their offense can be tough to uh, tough to handle because of the deception with it and how they you know pound the inside and then they'll roll it out to the outside and try to go for that big gain. But your your, de- or your defense, excuse me, was able to contain that. Uh, what worked well for you guys defensively was it just sticking to the game plan. Well, coming into the week, um, we actually actually I should say coming into the season, we knew they lost a lot of seniors last year. Um, in the skill positions and um, up front with the line. Um, so I knew that they were going to be a little bit inexperienced, but uh, coming into last night's game, watching them on film the last two weeks, um, their kids that have not played a lot of varsity football have really done a nice job. Um, uh, uh, Coach Reinhardt really coached those guys up in a short amount of time, and they're running that Vera offense very, very well. Um, they were handed uh, great against uh, Lake City, and they uh, really moved the ball well against Leward as well. So um, we were really focused in, and uh, we treated this team just like we would treat any St. Charles team. And uh, you're right, they do run that veer extremely well, and uh, we made sure that our kids um, brought uh, their A game last night because they've got some kids that can do some damage. We knew that. We stayed focused, and... Um, we did the best job that we could. And uh, the, like I said, the kids really rose to the occasion. Um, they got a couple good backs back there. Um, the, the small kid, uh, is, he's not small. He's big. Uh, he had 15 carries for 55 yards last night, and that's about as best of defensive effort as, as we can do. To keep a kid like that at 55 yards is a huge um, accomplishment for our defense. Um, the Cobes kid is, is, is a very uh, quick and fast runner as well. 
Uh, he also had 10 carries, but we kept him under 50 yards. Um, so, like you said, uh, they do a great job of establishing um, that dive play and then trying to get you sucked in the middle and then get you to the outside. Um, and that's why you got to play extremely um, disciplined defense. And our kids did. They hung in there. They um, they didn't try to be heroes and, and make every single play. They just they took their job and they did it 100 percent of the time last night. So um, we were fortunate enough to keep them off the scoreboard. And um, uh, when they when they wanted to um, throw it in the air, our defensive back stayed back as well and played the football um, extremely well last night. Uh, both Drew Schindler and Eli Hop stayed on top of their wide receivers and uh, Carter Daniels as well. Um, so all three of those kids um, stayed disciplined, and they knew at some point they're going to want to throw the ball up in the air, and, and they didn't get sucked into that run game either. So uh, hats off to those guys, that entire defense. Is, um, um, that entire defense, like I said, uh, very well-rounded team. Jeff Johnson with us, the head coach of the Chatfield Gophers. Coach, you have Lewiston Altura uh, coming up next week. What do you expect to see against the Cardinals? Well, Lewiston has had probably the toughest schedule in uh, Minnesota so far. Uh, they have had three ext- extremely tough teams in uh, AAA team and uh, PEM, and then they turn around, they have to play um, Caledonia and Goodhue. So um, they've had uh, three very tough teams, and that's after losing an extremely good uh, senior class. So um, some of those kids that are coming in for Lewiston right now uh, a handful of kids have played uh, varsity football, and there's a bunch of kids that played a lot of B-Squad last year. So they're kind of in the same boat. Um, but I know Coach Olson is coaching those kids up as fast as he possibly can too. So um, they, they'll be ready. They'll play with a lot of fire, and uh, we'll, we'll get everybody's best every week. So we've got to stay focused. And I told the kids last night we cannot coast. We had a big win on Friday night, but we cannot get – uh, complacent. We cannot coast and um, do those kind of type of have that type of attitude during the week. Uh, we cannot take days off. We've got to keep our nose in the grindstone every single day because there are teams that are going to come for us every Friday night. So we need to be ready. And uh, I'm, I don't expect anything different from Lewis on Friday. Coach, we appreciate the time. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Coming off that 69-0 win over St. Charles, the Chatfield Gophers take on Lewis and Altura next Friday night. Coach, Good luck next week. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay, appreciate it. Appreciate it covering us. We appreciate it. Coach, we got more Coach's Corner on the way next right here on 103.1 KFIL.